this video, we are going to be looking at the embryonic development of the placenta and other fetal membranes, which are the amniotic sac, the yolk sac, the chorionic cavity, and the umbilical cord. These structures are derived from the blastocyst, which protect, support, and nourish the embryo and the fetus. The placenta begins development during implantation. As the blastocyst adheres to the endometrium of the uterus, the trophoblast differentiates into an inner cytotrophoblast and an outer syncytial trophoblast. The cytotrophoblast proliferates and newly formed cells migrate into the syncytial trophoblast. These form rapidly growing multinucleated cells. Cytotrophoblast then secretes proteolytic enzymes, while syncytial trophoblast sends out finger-like projections, allowing blastocysts embed into endometrium. Spaces begin to form within syncytial trophoblast. Syncytial trophoblast erodes endometrial blood vessels as lacuna, which are spaces within the syncytial trophoblast, and become filled with maternal blood and glandular secretions. Isolated lacuna fuse to form a network through which maternal blood flows, hence the early uterine placental circulation. Projections from the cytotrophoblast begin to expand into the syncytial trophoblast, forming the primary chorionic villi. Early in the third week, the secondary chorionic villi is formed, and at the end of this week, Embryonic blood vessels are formed in extra embryonic mesoderm of the secondary chorionic villi, transforming them into tertiary chorionic villi. The cytotrophoblast from the primary chorionic villi grows towards the decidua basalis, which is a part that develops into the maternal part of the placenta, to form cytotrophoblastic shell. At week 4, Fetal blood flow is established where the oxygenated blood is carried to the placenta by a paired umbilical arteries while oxygenated blood travels back to the fetus through the umbilical vein. The placenta nourishes the fetus during development and is delivered shortly after parturition. Next is the amniotic sac. This structure develops from the ectodermal cells, which is a shiny transparent membrane made of flattened cells. At a stage during development, the blastocyst embeds on the uterine endometrium. The blastocyst invades the endometrium, where a bilaminar germ layer is formed, the columnar epiblast and the cuboidal hypoblast. These developments completes at the end of week 1. Peripheral cells of the epiblast modify to form amnioblast, and as the space within the amnioblast widens, it forms the amniotic cavity. Its floor is formed by the epiblastic cells, while its roof is formed by the amnioblastic cells. Amnion continues to enlarge until it fills the chorionic sac. Amniotic fluid produced by amnioblasts contains water, organic and inorganic substances. The yolk sac is next to be discussed. This develops from the endodermal cells and is formed directly from hypoblast. At day 8, these hypoblastic cells flatten out to form a thin membrane covering the inner surface of the cytotrophoblast, the exosolomic membrane. Actually, the exosolomic cells, together with the hypoblastic cells, form walls of the primitive yolk sac. Large cavities then appear in the extra embryonic mesoderm, which gradually fuse to become one single cavity, the chorionic cavity. At day 13, a large portion of the exosolomic cavity is pinched off, 
forming the primary yolk sac. By the end of week 2, chorionic cavity enlarges and bilaminar disc is joined to form the trophoblast by a band of extra embryonic mesoderm called the connecting stalk, which is the future umbilical cord. Lastly, the umbilical cord. Membranes of the amniotic cavity and the chorionic cavity come in contact while connecting stalk shifts in position to the margin of embryonic disc. Body stalk and yolk stalk then unite to form umbilical cord as folding of embryo continues. Chorionic cavity then becomes reduced in size around week 4. Umbilical vessels start as left and right umbilical arteries and veins. Then the right umbilical vein degenerates. So at last, the right and left umbilical arteries intertwine around the left umbilical vein. <music>